Keeping track of your personal budgeting or your freelance expenses can be very tricky. Enter Notion. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Better Creating. My name's Simon and this channel is all about productivity and simplifying creative life. If you watched my previous video on building my financial tracker, this is the follow up to that. But whatever it is you're doing in Notion in databases, I wanna show you a brilliant way to create regular items in a Notion database and then with one click, create them and drop them into whatever system you're using. This solution is a brilliant solution for creating regular items, habits, it could be tasks, uh, anything you want. We're gonna do it for income and expenses today and I'll finish off this financial tracker build for those of you that have done the first part. So whether you've seen that first video or not, we will build a filtered dashboard view that allows us to look at all the items in a database in a filtered way. In this case, monthly filtered views for a financial tracker. Then we'll build the regular item generator system using template buttons and a, a linked database to the contents you can use for any application. If you want to jump forwards or backwards to specific sections you're interested in, there are chapter markers in the description below. Let's go. This is the really exciting bit. We are gonna create the dashboard. First of all, forward slash H3 to create a small heading. Uh, and we're gonna call this one the year so far. And that is going to be a view of our balance database. Uh, I can also go forward slash color and give it a color which I'm gonna make purple. And then we're gonna do the best thing in Notion, in my opinion, uh, a few of you voted on this on one of my uh, community tabs, forward slash create linked database. Find the balance uh, sheet, put it in, and that is essentially a, a copied view of that database. So it means we can filter it. So we just need to clean this up. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, that by hiding it, the income relation, we don't need to see that, and we don't need to see expense relation, hide that. Uh, and you can set this in the order you want it. So I would like total income first, total outgoings, total expenses claimed, final yearly profit last. You can also condense them, dragging them in. Now, we don't need all the years, but first of all, uh, I'm gonna filter this as well, just because I can sort, sort it, sorry, by ascending, so the right way up, I want that. And then we're gonna add a filter. So we're gonna click on the dots over here, click filter, add a filter, and we're going to filter the year containing, and then you just type it in as you've written it, 2021. So that now just shows only the current year you're in. So as you build a history, the dashboard will only ever show what you need it to show. We're gonna do the same again for income and expenditure. So forward slash H3, I like that size. I'm gonna call this um, monthly income tracker, okay? Give that a color forward slash create link database, search for income. My neighbor's doing something outside, you can hear them. Uh, income, and this one again, we need to just kind of clean this up. So I'm gonna take the financial year to the front and then I'm gonna move the month to the front. We need to do some filters. So we're gonna click on here, go to filter. The order we're gonna filter that in is monthly income, then we're gonna do the current year, and then we're gonna finally relate it to the balance. So, add a filter, add filter where month is January, let's say, because I'm starting from the year, I know it's not January right now. Now the reason you do this is that that's then the first one that you change when you want to move forward month. Uh, we're gonna add another filter, and where financial year is this year, and finally, add a filter where related to balance contains 2021. Great. We don't actually need to see the financial year in this, so I can hide it. We don't need to see related to balance, so I can hide it. That then becomes a very clear view. Anything that I put in, you will see has January. I will also link to the, the current year, so you'll see this, but if I put in 1000, that number goes up so we know it's working. We're gonna do exactly the same with expenses. Finally, so we're gonna do forward slash H3. We're gonna call this one, call it monthly outgoing tracker, whatever you wanna do. Make that color orange. Same again, forward slash create, link database by searching for expenses. There it is. Exactly the same with this you want to reorder things so that you can read it in a way you want to. Financial year can be hidden. 
Uh, calculate percentage claimed, that can be hidden. I want to put this in the order I want to input things. So I'm going to do the description of the item, um, the amount, if it's fixed or variable. Um, I'm going to want to set percentage claim down here. Let's have the expense type next um, and set budget. We can hide relate to balance. We can hide planned expenses. And we want the status probably nicely towards the beginning. Um, final expense claim. I don't think I need to see that. And we want to filter. So if I go to filter, remember the first thing we want to do is the month. So add a filter where month is January. I'm just saying we're starting at the top of the year. You can filter again where the financial year is the current year. And we want to filter where the related to balance contains 2021. Pretty cool. The other thing I want to do in here is type in an instruction to myself. Filter by the current month, then generate and drop in new f items. I'm going to make that italic and I'm going to give that a colour of grey. Copy that and stick the same in here. Cool. We now need a means for inputting regular recurring expenses, whether they're variable or fixed, and the same for income. Here it is, how to generate regular items in a database. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do forward slash toggle, add a toggle list, and I'm going to call this one create new regular income items. I'm going to make it bold so it sticks out a bit, and I'm also going to colour it to match the heading, but I'm going to do it on the text like that. Cool, we're going to take it, I'm going to drop it in next to our little explanation here. There we go, so that drops it in. And then rather than this being full width, I'm going to move the income database up so it sits like that. And you can adjust the width of these like so. So that then means I've got a really useful, clear way of managing it. Let's do the same for expenses, forward slash tog, create new expenses items. Open these up and into them, another create link database. You want it to be of the income. So I'm gonna to filter this and I basically want it to be empty of things that will get added by the system when you drop them in. So that will essentially mean I want to make sure that financial year is empty. I want to add a filter where month is empty and I want to add a filter where the related to balance is empty. And the reason we're doing this is it means it will generate stuff in here so that it's always empty and it's just the other information that's populated. So this is a place where you can create regular items without that programming. They won't show up on there because they're empty. You can build them here and then drop them into a template button. So the next thing we're gonna do here is underneath this, I'm just gonna return, add myself a block. We're gonna do forward slash template. Create a template button. We're gonna call this one you're going to delete that and just leave a space. That will make sense in a moment. And for now, you're going to close that. So there you've got the button. Now I can just create a few. So let's think of some obvious things. We'll call this one salary, an imaginary amount. Uh, we leave the financial year. And in fact, we want to hide that because we don't want to put anything in there. We don't want to put anything in months, so hide that. Uh, you can make it related to a project if you want to. Uh, and that can be hidden as well, right? It's balanced because we're not using it. So that's all the information you're going to need if you really want to get sexy with this. Go into it and even give it like an icon. Maybe okay, let's do that upward trend and like that. And then that will always look like that. Build a couple of these. So why don't we do drum road sales? I sell Notion templates. Check them out. Okay, so there they are. And I can just leave that empty. Just means that it's generated. Go to the generate new monthly items. Click configure template take these items and drop them in under the space there, like that. Leaving a gap at the top so that when you generate it, it doesn't leap to the first page, it just drops them in. Close that. Now see, I've obviously taken them out of there so they don't exist in there anymore. It's just a place where I can edit them. If I now click this, look at that, it creates the items so that then I can simply take them, place them in, don't change the sorting and they sit within it. And you'll see they're all related to the right month, all of that. So if I open this up, you'll see it's linked into the financial year and all of that. It's linked to the right year. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, if I now wanted to start a new month, I can simply go to uh, filter, 
change the month to February, it clears it for the new month. I could then take those, drop them in, don't change the sorting and you'll see it links it to February. Uh, and of course, every time you start a new year, you would just change these um, in the system. Of course, the other thing to do is if you wanted to edit these, you could open this up, take the item, drop it back into this system, change the amount, let's say you've got a pay rise, drop it back in again, and that is how quick it is to update it. So I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing on the monthly outgoings tracker. Forward slash create, filter, clear anything you don't need, so that can go. I can hide financial year, the month can be hidden. Planned expenses, I can hide, that can hide, status can hide. And I'm gonna move these forward, so set the claim. There you go, it's ready. And so on, again, I'll give you another example in here. Click on here, go to configure, drop the item. There is one more thing you could do, which is drop in an Indify widget. You go to Indify, create the widget, and this one is a simple countdown. You can make it the size you want, drop it in. And what I, the reason I, I thought I'd use this is it's actually a really good way of just cleaning up the look of the page. So I can put it in next to the balance sheet. It gives me a bit more information and I can line it up so that you end up then with a very nice clean look to your system. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment below, it goes a long way to support the channel. Watch these videos next to take your Notion and productivity game further. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my complete Notion templates available on bettercreating.com.